It's just so sad, isn't it? It's so sad that my poor sweet boy Alrong is never going to be as good as half of these damn children that we've raised. I mean, of course, I'm referring exclusively to uh, Kalitha, this incredible monster of a child. I, I think she'll probably be our next character no matter what. She did have that kid. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Beautiful genius Herculean. Where has this kid come from? Well, no, we don't even know who the father is. I mean, it's not unsurprising given the amount of beautiful genius uh, Herculean characters kicking around. This is insane. This is insane that during Tharpa Tharpi's lifetime, we have an insanely powerful character that's popped out here. A, a genetically perfect character to have come all the way from uh, this man right here is, I think, quite impressive. Today, we've got kind of a... Uh, we've got a choice. The ball is rolling with Alrong. He's making prestige, making gold. The, the, the prestige, of course, I'm dumping straight into troops. So he's got quite a sizable army, especially compared to his neighbors. But we could look to... The grander world at large, right? Elvenkind has all these holy sites across the entire map. It has all these different expedition sites. To sequester ourselves just to Northern Europe and not do anything else about that seems a little odd. I'm not saying this would be a world conquest, but we certainly should get out there a little bit more. And what better way to get out there, my friends, than a Varangian adventurer? That's right. You might remember uh, it was forbidden a couple of episodes ago because of... Uh, we had to be independent, that's right, which kind of stifled the entire plan of swapping characters and then carving out a realm of our own. Now it is unrestricted, and we can do whatever the hell we want when we want it. I have set it so that AI can't do this, otherwise that would just be insane. And it would just block the AI can, of course, still do all the other regular wars and claims and whatnot. The Varangian Adventure, though, is exclusively something we can do with new characters. So, declare the Varangian Adventure against, say, Brittany, for example. I think that's pretty good. To be the first elf on uh, mainland Europe again would be quite impressive. Oh my god, and speaking of which, he's done it again. Selected congenital traits become more common in the dynasty. My guy, what have you picked? I don't think there's any way to find out. Well, there never used to be a way to find out. It just says select congenital traits to become more common. Well, it's a benefit. I hope he doesn't pick octogenarian. I really hope he doesn't because that is a total waste of a dynasty legacy. F plus five extra years. We already live to like 180. We don't need that big man. Not to mention all the health benefits we're getting, which will help boost up life expectancy too, given that everybody's... A Herculean, and a lot of people are strong. It's just total waste, isn't it? Um, a grand tournament. Ooh, interesting. He's not a great fighter, but he's certainly not bad. He's a very, very good character just all around. We're going to get absolutely murdered on the way up there. Well, Kalitha. If we take Kalitha, maybe she can... Uh, maybe she could help out. I think, honestly, we just go, like, mercenary guards and swap that out for... <sighs> mountaineers, maybe? Wow, it's so dangerous. Yeah, let's swap out to mountaineers, and there you go. Takes us down to only two problematic areas. Coastal sea. I, we're not going swimming, okay? Let's do it. We like, I like a little danger from our travel. And somehow, we made it. Can't wait for it to start. Okay, stop. Let's go spend that prowess perk, because this will actually be quite useful for a change. I should have checked what the tournament actually had going for it. Ruthless Assault. I mean, the question is, is this guy going to be leading the troops? The answer is probably not. So the night effect in this 15% is quite nice. Um, Unshackled Lust? I suppose that's playing the character a little bit. Is he a dreadful boy? I mean, he does look like Joffrey. Sparring Blade Master, Hunter, Schemer. He has murdered. He's an adulterer. He's just like our piece of shit through and through. And I just think he's quite blatant about what he does. Because he's arbitrary and stubborn. He's quite happy to not keep his crimes a secret. Ugh. I feel like torture is, is almost wrong in that case because he's doing it deep underground in the darkness unless he brags about it. We're going to go on check with Lost and maybe move down to Seducer just for a laugh. He's only 43. That's like they call it a teenager in Elven years, right? Demand payments. I will not be doing that. Uh, Duke Elendar, I will because that's a strong hook so we might as well cash out on that whenever we get the opportunity to. King Berengar, we are going to keep in our pocket. And let's see what we've got going on at tournaments then. Uh, it is a duel. It's simply just a duel. Okay, let's visit the artisan courses and see if we can... Yeah, I was going to say, can you show me an expert technique? See if we can get a little bit of prowess. Increase your prowess by one. That's something. We'll try that. Oh, no, we're ready to fight then. Okay. Uh, we're going to sabotage someone. And absolutely, we should sabotage someone. Who are we going to sabotage? Uh, Elorian is better. I can't brook a Lorian winning. Yes, absolutely. Oh, good news. Elf Capone and four other of my champions entered the contest. Robbie entered. Elf Capone. 
And I assume... Can we see the... Can we see the list here? My champions. Sadly not, because we're already in the... Uh, in the in the combat here um yeah i can't brook him winning sabotage uh this guy interesting there are a few joys as great as easily winning a duel ken red scrambles backwards across uneven ground the blows of my weapon barely deflects as i advance one more thunder of swing catches him off this guard and i smile with a rictus grin wait wait ken red whisper shouts at me as we struggle listen to me i need this victory my half shrug my, oh, wait, no. Uh, my half shrug panics him further still. Uh, I am a rich man. Please, I can make this worth your while. Um, no. No. Arbitrary. What do you mean because he's arbitrary? But he's also stubborn. Absolutely not. No. Do we have to? You can't buy your way out of this one. Yeah, but either way, it just says your score increases greatly. Well, okay. That one we lose stress because we're arbitrary, so I guess we'll take it. Pro Duke progresses by default due to your resignation. No. No. He's stubborn. No, absolutely not. Ah. Good news. The sabotage went well. Look at him, that cackling evil piece of shit. Uh, remember your training. Ask him if he's scared. Or one final bluff. We can bluff him with a bit of intrigue. Beautiful. And my god. We actually won the duel. I never expected to see it. Holy crap. Of all the characters. I mean, it was only a minor tournament. It's not like it was Tharth or Tharthies or anything. The battle between my daughter, Robbie, and Serafina has been decided. Both made good showings of their skill, but Robbie batters Serafina to the ground. Robbie is through to the semi-final. You've both done me proud. The battle between my daughter, Caliantha, and Threk has been decided. Calitha disarmed Threk and forced him to concede. What do you mean, not a great day for... Oh, because he's also Falcahanded. Yeah, but so is she. Oh, she's not. Yeah, because she's a wild oak. Okay, well, that doesn't... It doesn't really count. The battle between Duke Aloran and my son, Alf Capone, has been decided. Uh, Elorian battered Elf Capone to the ground. A good showing for House Falcahanda. That's the thing. I play ba both sides, so I always win. <laughs> it's Elrong of Powers and Elorian of the Northern Isles. Calitha and Robbie have also reached the semifinals. Uh, look, we've got like a, a three and four chance of actually winning this. Absolutely. Uh, we've hit him in, the, in his groin with a heavy thud. He lets out a cry somewhere between a gasp, a cough, and a groan. Ha, <laughs> I've have you now. We lose 75 prestige. That sucks because that's what I wanted, but that's what he does. He's arbitrary, I'm afraid. And then, of course, we'll go for the intrigue bluff. Oh, my God, he won it. Oh, my God, is it going to be him fighting his daughter? And then he's going to kill her in the finale. And it's going to be like Ivan the Terrible. Oh, my God. Victory. You've both done me proud. It is. It's us versus Calitha. No way. What a great story. I concede. I concede. We just let her win? He would never. Honestly, he's stopping. He would never. He's going to make her earn this victory if, he, if she is going to win. Coughing some dirt away from my eyes, I steady myself as the hoots and hollers of the crowd rain down upon me. Calithor is a little way away, the pair of us ha having disengaged briefly to catch our breaths. The baying of the spectators quiets a bit as we begin to circle each other. One wrong move could end this fight in an instant. Calithor's eyes narrow almost imperceptibly. As we circle, I notice a small puff of dust being thrown up under her foot. It's almost as if she's limping slightly. If I jint right there, I'll be able to find out. Or I can say, I have you now. Yes, that's a prowess one. Ooh, both are pretty good. Movement ascertains whether or not she's bluffing. He uses his big brain to figure it out. I actually like that a lot. Let's do it. And now, here we go. We beat her. We beat her in the final duel. Honestly, that's a nice story. I like the way it, it did that for us. That's good, because she was she was a big star of the show last time. I sense a win and rush to climb it before Calitha recovers. She withers uh, under my flurrying blows, barely keeping form with her guard. Until last, she steps away, yielding. The judge calls an end. I have one. She's okay. We haven't just, like, maimed her, have we? You complete your triumph intent. Yes! You're goddamn right we did. I won. I actually won. I can't believe you won. That's insane. Uh, she gets 600 pre- What, what, do we get prestige, though? You've become the owner, owner of a prize mace. Oh, lovely. 50 legitimacy. That's really good. Uh, we gained 150 prestige. We lost more than that during the fight. We were getting gifted duelists for five years. Beautiful. Oh, well, it was pretty good. Oh, no. On his way, uh, he's found a Pictish one. And as we all know, they are cut above the rest. My new paramour. We must marry at once. Okay. He's lustful. I don't think we really have a choice here. 39% chance of kidnapping the uh, King of France's daughter. And oh my god, it actually worked. And now let's dump that onto a few more troops, if you don't mind. Go ahead and take 
one of those. And then, do you think we save up when we just save for, like, the Wolf Riders? Because they are... Insane. <laughs> <laughs> 440 per go. And you got to bear in mind, un unraised man arms are what costing us all this in the first place. So, shit. I mean, how are we looking if we go for that Varangian? Oh, hello. Queen uh, Eruana. Okay. Um, Varangian Adventure. Equally pitted. We're going to cost this. Cost us a level of fame. But you know what? Is there any fame right now in sitting in a single county being pushed back by your brethren? I think I could... I think we could do it. I think we could take this. Should we do it? Fame penalty of 2,000. We lose a level of fame. Honestly, let him cook. Let him cook. Let my man cook. Let's send it. Okay. Um, potential alliance negotiations here. Uh, it's only potential, so we'd have to do something to ensure that it happens. So I'm not, I'm not bothered about that. So we're now independent, right? We now become like an independent ruler? Or at least I think we do when we land. That, I think... But it becomes like a separate part of... We don't keep it, but as far as I recall, it becomes a separate part of Tharthus Th 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 Ram, right? Either way, we'll figure it out in a second. Call my allies to war, and I absolutely will be. Join me. Feyersnor and my other mate. Oh. She got... Deposed? Queen Laryl no, no longer controls the county. Uh, does she not? You could have fooled me. War ends inconclusively. What are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying? What do you mean she no longer controls the county? Why? She doesn't have the Duchy of Brittany. You're right. The title doesn't... Did she destroy the title? What the fuck? You can't do that. What the hell? Did she genuinely just destroy the title to stop us attacking? That's nonsense. You can't do that. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have been... Betrayed. And bamboozled. I have been disrespected. Can we fabricate claims, please? Can we fabricate... Can, can you fabricate cl claims on duchy? Yes. Go. Go. Claim claim that duchy, please. At 100% opportunity to get an unpressed claim. Possible side effects are claim on duchy. Go. I'm, take, I'm taking this whole place. It doesn't matter where we go, right? Because if we're going for claim on duchy. Let's take it. I'm taking it no matter what. And a new entry perk. We could always just try and seduce, like, the Queen of Brittany. The, 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 the Queen of... Uh, whatever that other place was that we were going for then. Yeah, this lady here, East Francia, we could just uh, seduce them, and then we've already got a hook on them. <laughs> I mean, it could work. I don't see why not. Oh, God. My prestige can't handle this. Eating was well underway and drinking a uh, little far too long when Duchess Valoria decided it was time for some horse riding. My stables were locked up tight, but with the guidance of Duke Selred, Vil Valoria soon led a group of eager riders inside. Stable hands save those people from themselves. We lose 75 prestige. Oh, for God's sake. This is good. This has got plenty of prestige opportunities here. Shout halt. This is my feast. We're down to minus 234. Uh, I know what I said. I just don't understand why you said, said it so funny. Elf Capone cocks his head to the side and I, while I withhold my chortle. She had a lovely chest on display in the courtroom. I may not be alone thinking this is funny either. Duke Galador spat out some of his drink when Elf Capone repeated himself. Uh, uh, yeah. Elf Capone find this double entendre funny. See, we're bringing the family together. Look at this. Look at this. They're totally in sync. A toast to King Tharthi. Tharthi. The other option was address the bastard of the owl, which I would never do. That's disturbing and disgusting. And with that, it's done. We're out of our prestige debt. Good. We're back on top. Everything's fine. But we're going to have a hunt as well, just to really get ourselves out of it. Uh, no holding hills terrain. Yeah, let's go over there then. Why the hell not? It's literally just down the road. I don't think we need to hire all of that. Spend the money. Money is very easy to come by when you've got twice schemed, so I'm more than happy to convert it all to prestige. We can hardly keep up with the blasted beast that darts, oh, darts through the bushes, squealing wildly. Oh, only panting dogs and sweaty horses to show for it. For God's sake. I thought we were actually going to... Oh my God. This is a thing of beauty. Evandriel continues to spread the righteous will of the divine spark in the county of Leon. The locals have become eager followers, hanging on to her every word. Anger and then rage festers among the people over unjust practices. Their lord, prince, the princess, that person, lays upon them. Does she not see the true way? She ignores the divine spark's will and dooms us all. It's not long before a full peasant revolution is on their hands. Ah! Amazing! Oh my god, Bercy is attacking Tharthi Tharthi. Okay. Um, we should probably have a look into that in a second. We've gained a level of fame. We've crawled ourselves back out of that hole bloody fast. Amazing. 
Flew this adventure behind for now. Listen, we didn't succeed, but we got some experience. We gained the... We gained the prestige, which is more important. My daughter is just fucking nuts. Like, actually insane. Those are the two that we married together with the different bloodlines, remember? So I have very, very high hopes for that. Ooh! King Jebard of Lotharingia. We're going to stand up to the injustice, and then he can pay us back for it. Beautiful. Okay, now this I also have high hopes for. If we want to play another branch of the dynasty, I think that definitely their kid might be, um, might be definitely doable. Oh, we lose 50 gold, but to gain a strong hook on the Queen of Lothar, uh, sorry, of East Francia. That's powerful, because obviously we can just keep, keep cashing that in. Okay, betrothed can marry. Absolutely, they can. Boom, there you go. And then, uh, these two. This is the future. This is the future of the dynasty right there, and we're going to architect it with this guy, if nothing else. Uh, yes, obviously we're going to join... Oh, this isn't Tharthi Tharthi. What's happening? Um, yeah, obviously. Yeah, no, let's join you. I'll help. Sure, why not? Because a little prestige from this war, if nothing else. Raise all armies. Absolutely. I've got us up to 100% war score. I've absolutely got us up to 100% war score, and you need to... My war contribution. Okay, I got us up to 47%, but that also counts as first, because there's a lot of people here. You owe me. End this war. Quickly, and focus on the other one. End the war. Thank you. Good lord. Uh, tippets from far away. Ah! Oh, um, come closer, my lord. Marvel at the treasure never before seen. I had to watch my back to get these beauties out. I, I never sleeping with both eyes closed. Might have more to give me than marvels from afar. Ah. Oh, um, it must be interesting traveling as far as you do. Well, we did something there, which is quite nice. Uh, what is this here? Hello. That's what... Yeah, listen, there's too much going on. <laughs> this is overwhelming. Ah, oh, that's the bastard thing that you learned. Her son is Count Aranis Falker Handers' child instead. This kid fail me. That's okay. I mean, that's not... I don't think that's that's too terrible. A hundred more gold from Dugata. Thank you. How are we doing down in... Their capital, Vanez. Very, very soon. It's actually super, super quick. I guess this is the goal. Oh, yeah. No, by all means, please ransom some people out. I'm building up a war economy here. And finally, maybe most importantly, seducer. <laughs> we will seduce our way across Europe. What if we just seduce her? We just seduce her. What if we just marry her? Marry her matrilineally? Will that even work? If I use a hook, maybe also seduce her. Should shut up about it. Oh, we could certainly give it a go. Honestly, let's just let's just give it a go. Just give it a go. Just whisper in her ear, and then maybe when her lover turns up with two thousand men, uh, saying actually I'm here to claim this, and all the peasants are like, yeah, woo, yeah, we love him. She might be like, okay, fair enough. Uh, come on in then. And there we are. There is no true lord but you. It's a real shame that Vrangian conquest didn't work. I'll have to figure out why it became, uh, why why it became invalid and. She's converted Nantes. Amazing. She didn't convert the capital, sadly. Then, sadly, she said no. She said no to the seduction scheme. Very annoying. Um, could, could just fucking abduct her. <laughs> you could just abduct her. We could do the cheesy thing where you abduct her, and then the second you click the abduct button, you declare war and blah, blah. I'm not going to do that. It's, it's always too... It's a little bit too dirty. I don't like it. And now we get to decide, do we want to stick with Intrigue? Shall we start going into Torture as well? Or should we move on? Is he a terrifying man? I imagine he is a terrifying man, being so openly murderous and adulterous. The realm is doing nothing about him. Tharthi Tharthi isn't going to imprison him or punish him for his crimes. I imagine people are quite a little bit scared of him. And he does have a tremendous amount of natural dread. You know what? Fine. Let's go into Torture then. Sure. A Randor came out elusive shadow. We love to see it. Uh, yeah, no, another marriage, please, by all means. What a total mess. What a total mess this dynasty is going to be. <laughs> we just got to rely on blind luck to hope they don't end up looking like Tharpa Tharpy again. Thalarin, Falkahanda, my grandson. They're pretty much all coming out genius. Makes me wonder if architect... No. If architected ancestry gave that to us. Oh, dear. Well, we might be okay. We're not okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. We've got some weak hooks here. That's good. We like that. Fabricate hook failed on the other one, but that's all right. Oh, shit's sake. Every time I start getting some good raiding progress... Ugh, every time I get some good raiding progress, we just still don't have enough troops to quite see it through. This is so frustrating. One more down. Thank you very much. And then let's move you over to... The How many have we got left? Like three more, three more counties? Beautiful. 
This, though, wasn't exactly what I was after. I, I actually way prefer. The fact that we've flipped some of it already over to Alaran Weavers is is lovely. Again, we're kind of sowing those seeds. It's, it's very similar to um the Secret Society mechanic, right, in CK2. Monthly prestige per dread. Hang on. That's a nice combination, isn't it? I'll happily take that. We probably should go on another hunt or have another feast or something. Drop some of this cash because we're fabricating more hooks. We've got some payments still building up there in the background. 200 gold well spent as far as I'm concerned. Let's get some of those big prestige events. We could come away with like 600 prestige if we get very lucky. I like that. Hello. Uh, thriving in chaos. Martial per stress level. That's so useless. I never play at high stress. I mean, I should. When you torture someone, 50% chance to gain one intrigue or one prowess. Ah. I can't believe people would say that about that king. We better stand up for him. We should check on the other bloodline blending project as well. Um, yeah, let's take some money here. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that one, please. There's 150 prestige. No! Arena! Oh, she was really good. God damn you. Oh, well, at least her kid came out insane as well. She did not deserve this. Died under mysterious circumstances. That's terrible. A new martial lifestyle hurt. Jesus. Um, Chris County Control. Yes, please. Especially for when we move across the channel in a second. Ooh. The lady over there is refilling a tightly grasped glass for the third time since joined by their spouse. Relationship on the brink of collapse. Observant of details. We get 100 intrigue lifestyle experience. Beautiful. Oh my god, and there's another one. Renee changes to uh, Aloran Weavers. Beautiful. Uh, 225 more prestige. There you go. A thousand we came away from. Jesus. That I'm very happy to see. How are we looking on the conversion then? Oh, who is this person? Sorry, Emperor Tharthu Tharthi. He became the Emperor of Britannia? Oh, what a fucking guy. I didn't even notice that. Because he has... Okay, so he's dropped massive chunks of Scotland. He's got Wales. He's got England. So he's got three kingdoms you need for an empire tier title. Iceland, England, Scotland. Oh, he doesn't even have the Kingdom of Wales. Why not? How bizarre. Holy shit. Um, you are the traitor. Obviously, we're not going to join a war against Tharthi Tharthi. Oh, my God. What a beautiful man. What an incredible legend you are. Look at his stats. Jesus. Oh, some more money for me. Beautiful. Look, we're absolutely swimming. To say that we lost a shitload of prestige there, it builds up so bloody fast, didn't it? Totally back to where we need to be. We can build one more band. Sonic University? Just university? Should we just go? University of Canterbury? Large religious center. And then, uh, we don't actually need to worry about any dangers on the way. Beautiful. Hell yeah, let's do it. Randomly throw that out there while we're just kind of sitting around waiting for some, uh, some hooks to go through. We're waiting for some lands to fabricate. And another intrigue lifestyle hook. So it is. Divine retribution or thriving in chaos. You do not lose piety or clergy opinion for torturing or executing others. Fine. Absolutely. Keep the Alarum Weavers off of our back. And here we are. Visited the Basilica, so we get some more experience there. We are going to go all in on studiousness. What was this guy? Just intelligent, right? Not genius? Yeah. I think he's still got a good chance of kicking things off. We've got Sagacious as well, obviously, from our cultural benefit. Whatever the decision to get the best education is absolutely what we're going for. I don't have time for your nonsense, Erp. Fucking weirdo. Look at him. Just chanting there. Weird looking man. Culture has discovered ledgers. That's quite handy. Heretical thoughts. 58% chance I destroy Elowen with facts and logic. <laughs> okay, go on then. Uh, you are unceremoniously ushered out. Oh, for God's sake. And that cost me 150 prestige. The death of my acquaintance is... Oh, for... Everything's going wrong. The learn of Finnereth's attempted murder secret. Good. Yes, fine. Oh, come on. I spent 300 gold on this. Uh, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, an, an argument against dirt. Boom. We finally got up to decent studies. Replicate hook on her was exposed. That's fine. It's still 90%. Volunteers for help. It's going to cost us another 150 prestige. You've got to go all in. An unpressed claimed. There you go. Okay. Only a couple more. Hold on a second. Get out of here. Second university. Thank you. Yep. Stewardship. Even though it says intrigue. Uh, it, does, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. War profits here. Yeah, because we're going to be at war very soon. Let's throw you to here. And then we've only got one more to go. By the time we're finished with university, we might be done with the, with the claim fabrication, that is. For months. Oh, no. We're not even going to be remotely done. Act of tyranny. I don't care. Another hook fabricated. More money in his pocket to pay for this, quite frankly, disastrous university trip. Uh, my prestige. Come on. Yes. Okay. Tier two. A tier two I'm happy to take. We're going to go for a learning challenge against this lady. We're not going to get to level three. We got close. We got unfortunate. We got close. 
Uh, we're getting two Intrigue lifestyle perks. Uh, a lot of gold was invested in my Rare and Precious books. We increased our Intrigue by one. Boo. I'm not happy about that. We did get the Elven Guide to the Esoteric, giving another 10% lifestyle experience. Yeah, that's what we need. Ah, uh, that didn't go nearly as well as I was hoping. On the plus side, we're blasting through a tree that I wasn't super happy about that. Drake game per tyranny, 0 0.5. Oh, well, that's going to be enormous because we are a horrific, tyrannical man. I think we need to do another hunt. We're just throwing out the events today to try and catch up with this tremendous amount of, of prestige debt I'm getting myself into. Beautiful. It's all right. Europe's paying for it. Europe is paying for all of these fantastic adventures. Oh! <gasps> no! Oh, Divine Spark, how could you do this to Kalitha? No! She didn't even get a chance to shine! She died in childbirth. Oh, fuck. And there she is. Our glorious child of destiny. Snatched away. Snatched away in one of the saddest and most tragic ways. Thalemir is still alive. In a name like that, you probably won't be for long. The beautiful genius Herculean Thalemir. Oh, God. Okay, what's he getting an education in? Stewardship or learning? Give him learning. Fuck it. There you go. Somebody said, why don't you ever play learning? Uh, we're not going to be the cultural heads. So there's almost absolutely no point whatsoever. But never mind, I guess. We'll educate him personally. God, I would like to educate him personally. Did I click the wrong button? Doesn't really matter. It's there. Oh, that is tragic because she could have been such a fun character. We finally find the wildly beast. Our chase has not been in vain. I'll bring it down myself. Yes. Come on. It's possible that the beast may kill us. Do it. Yes, we've slain the beast. I have my spear cautiously move towards the exhausted animal. As I plunge my blade into it, it catches me with a buck. I'm pull away. Uh, I'm pulled away as it snorts its death throes. It did injure us. It did injure us. But you know what? That's a victory right there, my friends. Keep it as a memento. What does stag antlers do? Stress gain lower. Dynasty opinion higher. Prestige. Yeah, okay. Beautiful. Good work. Finally, finish the hunt. And more importantly, we can sink that right back into Wolf Riders. <laughs> How many have converted? It's like all but one, right? Oh, we missed a couple. Unless they flipped it back. I thought we got that one. That's okay, though. Yeah, because we didn't get the capital. Leon didn't flip. That's right. I thought it did, but I guess it must have been when we moved on. That's fine. We've only got one more claim to go after this one completes, which will take all of about five seconds. And then we're ready for actual warfare. Actual real warfare. Not something that's just going to be cancelled randomly. Ah, 50 gold on a weak hook. It's worth it because it'll pay for itself in the long term. Elf Capone! The IRS got him at long last. Oh, my boy. Murdered under mysterious circumstances. God damn you. Don't say it. Her spouse died. Look. Elf Capone was the one with the bloodline. Oh, shit. Oh, I was worried it was Elf Capone. God damn you. And one kid got Bloodline of House Valor if the other got nothing. I say nothing as if he's not a monstrous character. He got nothing, damn it. Well, that's interesting. I could marry her to her own son. Oh, what am I saying? I mean, I could. They are related. You're right, they are related. Oh, we must do these things for the future of the Elven people. Look away. And a high note to end on, she's converted that final county. And my very good friend, Emperor Thartha Tharthi, has invited us on a hunt all the way back in the homelands. The exhausted, panicked animal has turned to bay, struggling to stand and barking in panic. Emperor Thartha Tharthi cries, Quick, may of the take the shot! Mayor Melandia takes aim and the... Wait, we keep the exhausted fox in place. Shot to fucking fox? It really take 19 grown men to kill a fox? Ridiculous people. We got called in as an ally to a war. Not a big deal. We've almost finished off the torture tree, which is beautiful. Um, yeah, sure, you can you can marry. By all means, excellent, great news. Every single county in Brittany, is it the Varangian Conquest I wanted? No, but my God, is it much more appropriate for this particular character? Absolutely it is. We have so many hooks fabricated. Can let's, let's get some money. Thank you. I'll take some cash from that. Thank you. Much obliged. We can start taking it apart. We don't have uh, the thing that lets us take all the counties at once. Yeah, no, that would make a lot of sense. That's okay, though. We'll take Vanez first, take the capital, and then spread out from there. Maybe she could take an unfortunate trip down the stairs once or twice or six times. <laughs> Honestly, we could always set ourselves up as playing an, uh, a learning character dedicated to aggressive spreading of the faith. 
That'd be kind of fun. The wars that we were called into are over. We have a huge amount of perks very suddenly, but this effectively gives us a nice fresh start for tomorrow. Hit the ground running and grab a kingdom of our own. Faith conversion cost minus 75%. No, thank you. Um, all of these are totally pointless. Clergy opinion plus 10. Sure, why not? Inspire to fear. Ooh, levy size 10%. Oh, how useless. Ah. Uh, Sure, we're going for shield bearer for now. So we're ready. We're, our, our single county count has gone from having 100 troops, no money, no prestige, no notoriety, no bitches, all the way up to 1,600 troops, the majority of which are very, very powerful. Very, very powerful uh, cultural retinues or cultural man at arms in their coordinates. We've got a bunch of allies. And more importantly, we have claims on just about everything we could possibly like to go for. We are going to annihilate her. And through our scheming and underhandedness, I feel like we played the character pretty well, even if it was incidentally. Converting their county, kind of sowing the seeds of dissent there and preparing things, even starting that peasant faction has been a beautiful way for this guy to manifest destiny, right? Something we definitely need to keep in, in mind for future characters. And more importantly, we've made a small fortune from hooks and everything else. So tomorrow, we're going to do what I wanted to do today, which is go to war and carve out a county for this guy. Fucking Varangian adventure. Today was a slow day, a day of me trying to fix the wrongs, right the wrongs, sort ourselves out, get ourselves back on track, and conquer a county. And instead, it was a lot of pissing around trying to raise prestige to make up for a Cassus Bell. <laughs> that didn't quite work. I didn't mess around with the um, the invalidation rules on the wars, uh, on, on the Cassus Bell I for that particular war. I'll look into it and figure out why that would have cancelled that. Uh, I didn't change the valid target candidates either. The only things I adjusted was um, a restriction on it that your candidates have to be in Scandinavia. A restriction on it for... Uh, the era you're in too. So the second we became um, feudal era and left that, that first era of innovations, it would have invalidated the ability to launch a branch in adventure anyway. But with that removed, in theory, it should have been fine. I'll double check. I'll just see what's going on with that. Maybe I can fix it for a future character. Not important because I feel like this way, again, suited the character a lot better. Thank you to the long Hoff. Oxwrecker, Jim Stevenson, Griff, Juseda, Slippy Nips, Elias, Kyle Smith, Creepy Uncle Dave, Azamemnon, Zion, Anthony Fackenthal, Echo556, Adran, Vincent Van Giel, Tragen, Andrew Robichord, Kane, Darkness, Vladreact, Hoofenspiel, Former Safety Hazard, Snozza, Birdman, Simothy Remothy, and Zarko Yanev for their support of the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for joining me here in Elf Destiny. This was very much a catch-up episode tomorrow. We're going to hit the ground running. Give this man what he goddamn deserves. Thank you as well to Shackleberry, Ethrix, Bucky, Paltala, Mort, Sturmkrauer, Elizabeth LaGrosse, Fair Fight, Frank, Nox Immortalis, Plasma Wolf, Trash, Panda, Paladin, What Would Stalin Do, Juice Tin, Lieutenant Smokin, ADD Ape, and Mantle as well.